Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak has recently unveiled the 2011 budget with wide-ranging incentives to boost the national economy and turn Malaysia into a high-income nation by 2020. Major private-public partnerships have been announced for the service industry, mainly education and tourism. A two billion ringgit joint venture between the Academic Medical Center and Johns Hopkins Medicine International, as well as the prestigious Royal College of Surgeons, Ireland, and a three billion ringgit allocation to develop Karambunai in Sabah into an eco tourism hub. Currently, services contribute 57% to Malaysia's GDP. We want to increase it more. We want to increase it to at least 75%, as a developed nation should be and tourism is a major service industry. One of the strategies of the Ministry of Tourism is to position Kuala Lumpur as a MICE destination, leveraging the infrastructure and competitive pricing available. Private companies are also taking an active role in the prevention sector. BP Healthcare Group, Malaysia's leading diagnostic center chain, provides head-to-toe medical examination, lifestyle-related healthcare services and products. Currently, we have uh, 30 diagnostic centre and now among the 30 we have two specialist diagnostic centre and then we have about 50 labs around the country. We are the first healthcare provider that offer a chain diagnostic centre and uh, in the diagnostic centre we have uh, doctors, specialists and uh, all the paramedic nurses and uh, nutritionists to to provide a one-stop centre. While quality is a priority for this company, as they have just received the Customer Value Enhancement Award in Diagnostics by Frost & Sullivan, local and regional expansion plans are also on the agenda. Two new centres in Ipoh and Glenmarie are scheduled to open soon, and BP Healthcare Group has recently signed an MOU with their Thai partner, Max Healthcare, to penetrate this market. Organically in Malaysia, we are also you know, experiencing quite substantial growth rate and you know, going into Thailand is another big task as you know, Thailand's population is more than double of Malaysia and you know, we want to focus one by one, step by step. You know, having another partner you know, sort of leading us or guiding us is a very good thing and they have been in the business for quite some time as well, but they're focusing more on the secondary and tertiary healthcare and we are more on primary healthcare. So this will complement each other. I want to grow fast, but then this thing cannot just happen uh, tomorrow. You need a lot of training and people who join you must share the same uh, culture. The success of the group is everyone have the same way of doing things, the commitment. While Malaysian doctors are considered well-trained and professionals, many decide to practice overseas, motivated by higher financial gains. The medical industry is aware that its growth relies on the quality and availability of medical staff. To attract them, you must have a good environment, plus, if possible, share equity participation into the company and make them owners of the center. But because we, I have so many outlets, I can afford to, to open up my equity participation on that particular outlet, and that, that become very attractive to them. One of the leading private hospital chains in Malaysia is KPJ Healthcare, with 17 hospitals. The company has developed a unique collaboration with its doctors in order to encourage specialist centres and quality treatment. The expectation that they, when they come to our hospital is the level of service that is um, present in not only the doctors who are renowned in their own field, but also the standard and quality of care which is comparable to any other private hospital in any part of the world. We also make sure our hospital are accredited, meaning there is standard, high standard of care, level of care, as well as patient safety. Accreditation means there are standard ensuring patient safety is available in all these hospitals. 
You can only be successful if you really trust the people around you. And I'm a strong believer and in fact an advocate of transformational leadership. KPJ Healthcare has identified several niches where they can attract foreign patients. Cardiology, bariatric, cosmetology and orthopedics. I've been a cardiothoracic surgeon for the last 28 years. Initially, I was one of the pioneers in the government service as far as cardiothoracic surgery is concerned. And after serving the government for 22 years, I have uh, joined the KPJ five years ago as a cardiac surgeon. I thought I would take up the challenge to build another cardiac unit in the private side. As far as medical tourism is concerned with regards to cardiac surgery, we have had many patients from surrounding countries and I think there's room for further improvement. I'm a general surgeon who is specialized in laparoscopic bariatric surgery. We are maybe the pioneer in private sector to do this surgery. I feel that this obesity surgery is going to be very popular. Okay, since uh, it is like a disease now, it is an, like an epidemic. So about 12% of um, Malaysian populations are overweight and about 4% are severely obese. In order to combat uh, these problems, you know, they need to lose weight. So usually, you know, I, will, I will tell them you know, before we embark on surgery, uh, the patient needs to, to try to lose weight by any other means. If they can't, uh, then they come and seek, uh, to seek my help, uh, which is surgery. That is always, almost the last resort of uh, um, to lose weight. I'm in plastic and reconstructive surgery. So I do both. I do reconstructive work. I do uh, cosmetic plastic work. So at the moment, the ratio is, I think, aesthetic surgery more, but maybe 60-70%. The other 30% are my reconstructive work. Most of my patients now come from Australia, New Zealand, and UK. You know? Every person is different. So we have to really assess them properly because the next person is probably different from next, even though the same procedures. I'm specializing in the joint replacement surgery, which means the replacements of joints of the hips and knees and shoulders. Hip and knee surgery is quite a major surgery. This is why I, I advise them to be stay in this country a bit longer, minimum is about 10 days or sometimes about three weeks. We do care for these patients. We think about the patients. And then we try to make the patients as our friends. That is very important. We have come a long way to reach to this level of um, after three decades, yeah? We cross our more than one billion revenue a few years ago, and uh, we have laid a very strong foundation. And I'm very sure, although it took us three decades to be where we are today, it will take a shorter time to be able to achieve double than what we have done in a shorter period. We are able to uh, increase our capacity in the next five years and uh, bring in more talented and qualities uh, medical services in the country uh, so that we can uh, ensure that the next five years uh, greater growth we will be able to uh, serve the market well.